Welcome to Hang Tough 1944 on YouTube. Before we start, can I just remind you to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe for further videos and for the live event coming up in June in Normandy for the 8th anniversary of the D-Day landings. Talking of D-Day. Have you ever wondered how a grand deception can turn the tide of war? Picture this, it's the height of the Second World War, and the Allies are planning their most daring operation yet, the invasion of Normandy. But they face a problem. How do they keep their plan secret from the keen eyes of the Axis powers? The answer lies in a masterstroke of military trickery known as Operation Fortitude. Operation Fortitude, a story of cunning and audacity, is one of the greatest deceptions in military history. It begins in early 1944 with the creation of the first United States Army Group, or FUSAG, an entirely fictitious army, complete with inflatable tanks, fake aircraft and a horde of radio operators sending out misleading transmissions. The Allies appointed General George Patton, a commander feared by the Germans as the leader of this phantom force, further adding to its credibility. This grand illusion was set in southeast England, the location logically expected for an invasion due to its proximity to the Pas de Calais region of France, the shortest crossing point from England. Meanwhile, a second part of the operation, Fortitude North, was underway. This was a deceptive plot suggesting an imminent invasion of Norway. False radio traffic, double agents, and even a fictitious British Fourth Army headquartered in Scotland all played their parts in this grand charade. As the days turned into weeks, then months, the Germans were convinced. They diverted their resources and held their forces in Pas de Calais and Norway, waiting for invasions that would never come. This allowed the Allies to carry out the Normandy landings on June 6, 1944, with significantly less resistance than they would have otherwise faced. In essence, Operation Fortitude was a grand game of smoke and mirrors, a series of deceptions that were key to the success of the D-Day landings. It was a testament to the ingenuity and daring of those who planned and executed it, proving that sometimes the pen, or in this case the radio transmission, truly can be mightier than the sword. To summarize, Operation Fortitude was a two-pronged deception in 1944, intended to mislead the Axis powers about the Allies' true invasion plans. Its southern component, Fortitude South, involved the creation of a fictitious army in southeast England, complete with a high-profile commander and fake military equipment. Concurrently, Fortitude North spread misinformation about a supposed invasion of Norway. These deceptions successfully diverted German resources, paving the way for the successful D-Day landings in Normandy. Thus, in the grand tapestry of history, Operation Fortitude stands out as a daring ruse that played a pivotal role in determining the course of the Second World War. It is a testament to the power of deception, the audacity of military strategy, and the indomitable spirit of those who dared to deceive an enemy in the name of freedom.